This is a situation where a guy caught somebody breaking into his car and he did what anyone else would do. Jumped out of his house, bam, right on the guy. But the guy had somebody with him. <laughs> Professor David here, got another video for you today. Guys, I'm always talking to you about always be ready. You have to all, I have it on one of our back of our shirts. I have it, we have different sayings on our shirts in our schools to constantly keep it in our students' mind, the things that we need them to always understand. Pay attention is what it is. Always be ready. Okay? You got to understand in your mind purpose over pleasure. But this video is an example of when I, hear, when you, when I tell you everything is the weapon. Not just the man is the weapon. Everything is the weapon. You worried about what the man got in his hand? Everything around you is a weapon. That anything somebody can use against you to hurt you, they will. This is a situation where a guy caught somebody breaking into his car and he did what anyone else would do. Jumped out of his house, bam, right on the guy. But the guy had somebody with him. And the guy was ready to take off. But when the guy seen him fighting his boy, he decided to use the car. See? Because the guy was ready. He was ready to fight. But he wasn't ready for the car. You always got to be ready, guys. Because everything outside in the street, this is a self-defense channel for you to learn, to teach you how to think a different way. Everything is not just technique. Locks, holds, breaks, chokes, takedowns. How are you thinking? The way you think matters. What's your mindset? When you're outside walking on the street, you're going to do flow drills against an automobile? You got to think right. So when you approach somebody who's robbing your car, your vehicle, understand that person is with boys. He's not robbing the vehicle. They're going to get in his car, start up his car, and leave. Somebody's watching his back. So you got to watch out for the guy who's watching his back. But you see your emotion get caught up with you. Boom! And all you care about is the guy who's breaking into your car. But you don't care about his boy. See, and that's where you get caught. So think the right way. And always be ready for everything and everyone. Anytime you got a situation like that, someone breaking into your house, it's not just one person. It might be two. All the time. Someone come up to you and rob you, and not just that guy who's robbing you. It might be, who else is with him? Who else is with him? It's got to be somebody else. Who's watching his back? I had a guy one time, some of you remember Delancey Street, okay? Street in Brooklyn where a lot of comments go on, a lot of shopping goes on. I'm down there, a guy walks up to me, stops me, stops me cold. In the middle of the street, walking on the sidewalk. Yo! Stops right in front of me. I try to get around him, he blocked me. He's like, yo man, run your money out your pockets. He goes, I'm telling you right now, and I stopped. And I said, what? He goes, yo, run your money. Give me your wallet. And I stopped and I'm looking. And I couldn't believe that this dude is robbing me in the middle of the afternoon in the street. So what happened? I'm looking. I'm looking over to the left, to the right. I instantly stopped listening to what he was saying. And I started looking to see who's not moving. Who's not moving? Because I said, he's got, in my mind, he's got to be with somebody else. It just can't be him. I said to myself, it just can't be him. Who's watching his back? So he's talking to me, and I'm, I'm looking over his shoulder. And he's like, yo, he's doing this. He started doing this. Like, yo, man, you heard what I said? Hurry up. And then when I realized that nobody else was moving, everybody was moving, nobody else was standing still, 
I told him, I said, walk away from me before I kill you. He said, yo, man, I ain't playing. Run your money. I said, walk away from me before I take your life. Walk away from me. Stared me down. We did this steal off. And then he walked away from me. And I said, after he passed me, I turned back. I'm looking now. I'm walking slowly. I'm looking who's waiting for somebody to come up. And, and some, somebody else had come. Nobody else came. And I said to myself, damn, what a great technique. How many other people did he do that to? How many people did he run up and chump like that? And they gave up their money and their wallet or their pocketbook or whatever. How many people did he do that to? See, but I understood. I said to myself, no, 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 no. This sucker can't be doing this by himself in broad daylight. Somebody else got to be with him. Somebody got to watch his back. Guys, always be prepared for the other guy. Watch the video and hope you learn something from this video because everything is not kicking and punching. It's about how you think. And this channel, once again, is to teach you personal development, mindset training, how to think, master your emotion, 21 laws of self-defense. That's why we have it. Watch the video and pass it on to somebody else. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.